So let me ask you, because we've been having this ongoing debate with the two of you over uh, prospects for another stimulus package. Mm -hmm. Probably still a top question to markets. I just saw one note that says they think we're going to have skinny stimulus, fat Fed. You know, the Fed's going to be more important. We're kind of back to that paradigm. Tony, uh, Speaker McConnell left open the possibility of a, a package in comments just a short while ago. What do you think is most feasible now? Yeah, I think that was our view. I think we needed to get through the election. We, we had hoped that we'd have it uh, a lot sooner. You know, like, we don't know what's going to happen in these states. We do, you know, th when we look back, we're going to say, because of the razor-thin uh, nature of some of these states, as to whether they had dropped a few trillion dollars on this economy a couple months ago, whether uh, Trump would be in a much better position. But uh, they decided to go to, to put it off. Uh, and we expect to see a skinny bill and then come back in the new year and uh, and do more. And that was our case before. And I think we think that's most likely now, given where the uh, the electoral outcome is headed. How skinny? What would that include? P you know, some PPP, uh, some uh, test and trace, uh, uh, you know, some money for uh, for schools, uh, you know, so those pieces of it, I think, are, the, are probably the most important elements. Uh, we'll see whether Speaker McConnell wants to hold out for, uh, you know, language on liability uh, protection or whether he, you know, puts that into the future. We'll, you know, we'll, we'll see on that. But I think those are the elements to just get through the end of the year. Oh, and, and some uh, additional plus up uh, unemployment insurance as well. Stephanie, would you agree with kind of that possibility? Or do you kind of see a different uh, way of things playing out here? So to me, the biggest still unknown variable is who's going to be in the White House. If Trump wins re-election and Republicans hold on to the Senate, which seems very likely on the Senate side, it's where we're headed, then there's two things I think that would compel a near-term stimulus package and having that be probably about $500 billion. The first is that there's no re need to wait till the new year because the status quo will be the shape of the government. So you don't have negotiating leverage if you're waiting until you have more power in, in one area or the other. The second is that Republicans made a very active choice over the last few months not to acquiesce on their, their belief that stimulus should be not, not as large as Democrats, 3.5 trillion, but much closer to 500 billion. And so if Republicans have just pulled off this amazing feat. I, no one, including Republicans, was expecting it last night to go so well for Republicans in the Senate and in the House. And so they, they're now starting with this mandate that, you know, telling them the decisions, the political decisions that they've made to, to date are the right ones or what people want. Otherwise, they would not have been winning all these, these uh, Senate House mm -hmm. races. So it seems very likely that the size is going to need to be significantly scaled back. And Stephanie, there's so much you know more to this, but just the one other issue that we're going to be focused on for the next few weeks, and it relates to all this, obviously, is these recounts. Anything you think investors need to know about the pace in which uh, these recounts play out, um, kind of how that could change the calculus here in the weeks ahead? Yeah, I mean, the court cases, the litigation, the recounts, it does argue for us not to have an answer on the election for, for weeks. And so while the election outcome is in sort of this holding pattern, I don't see either side being interested in trying to pass policy when they're not sure whether they will have more negotiating leverage in the future. And, you know, just before coming on here, there was a hearing in a court case about the U.S. Postal Service, and it was unearthed that almost 14,000 ballots that were mailed were stuck at a Postal Service site. So I think we're going to start learning about some things that are ripe for new litigation that we didn't even know about before. And it just argues for this to not necessarily be resolved anytime soon. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.